When you get a voice pack, one of the things you need to do after you've installed the software is to make sure your controls are set up to work with voice control. That's the voice commands you actually speak. So if you say thrusters 50%, you want it to respond with thrusters 50% and press the relevant key to give you 50% thrust. And there's a few steps you're gonna to need to take when you start the game as well. And the following steps are for Elite Dangerous Odyssey players only. Now, in Elite Dangerous, you need to go to Options and Control Settings here. These four sections need to be customized to work with your preferred controllers. Some of the stuff you're going to be doing will be with your joystick, some with keys, and some with maybe some other type of controller, a gamepad. Um, who knows, whatever you have. But all you do here is head into each section and set up your preferred controller. Like, for me, I want to use my joystick and throttle for flight. So I'll go choose that scheme here in the drop down. And I'll also want to use my joystick to control my surface rover vehicle as well. So what I'm gonna do once I come out of here is just come over to that and just change that one as well. So I've chosen what I wanna control with my joystick. Outside of that, I'll be using just key presses and there's a ton of those, which is really why we prefer to use our voice for some of these controls. So I'm gonna go ahead and map some keys for some basic stuff. And most of what I really need is on the joystick and throttle setup, but I do like to have some keys set up just to press. You can see that my hat switch, or whatever you wanna call that, is set up to scroll between panel and menus in game. Great. For the voice control to work properly, you need to make sure that keys are also chosen. So that when you say left panel or right panel, it can press a key that you've chosen in here and open that panel for you in the game. So for that, I'll just choose left, right, up and down keys. And by the way, I'm only going to choose a few key presses in each section for the demonstration. I'm doing that because once each of these sections say custom where we've added or made a change our voice control software will be able to also add something for us if we can't be bothered to set the rest up very useful if you want our voice packs to set up all your keys right and i'll come to that in a moment but it's important if you want to do that to change at least one key press in each section so let's get that done then i'll automate the rest of the process all in all this will take just about five minutes as you saw, I only set up one or two keys in each of these sections. I'd recommend you set up the basic key presses just so you know what keys are for which function. So if you use WASD for on foot and the normal buttons that you would use for that, then just make sure you spend five minutes setting up the keys so you know at least where they are and what needs to be pressed for that particular function. The rest of the keys can be set up for you by our product. That'll save you a lot of time and hassle, and providing you've taken the steps here to make sure all of the control sections are suggesting custom in their description, then we can go ahead and easily set up the rest of the keys for you. And here's how we do that. When you start voice attack with your profile for Odyssey selected, you'll be faced with what you can see here, some key binds messages, and maybe a few others making reference to how you should set up the keys. We've already made sure that we applied a change to each of the four control sections in the game control settings. We did that just now. Meaning that Voice Attack can now read which keys we've chosen and set up already. But what we now need to do is just tell Voice Attack to set up the rest of the keys that we haven't chosen. You'll need to use the following voice command to open the customizer first. Protocol override customize my settings. Once here, Click Keybind Creator, and in the bottom right here, you can see where Voice Attack has seen the controls you set up. It's this one here that says Custom. Now, we select that and then click Create. What that has now done is allocate the rest of the key presses that you haven't set up. And once that's done, as long as you save your changes, you're good to go. That is all. But if you have any questions, please put a comment in below and we'll do our best to answer your questions. Failing that, pop along to our Discord channel or send us an email. 
but in the Discord channel we can give you live, hands-on help and get you up and running in no time. I hope this has been informative and helpful.